Charles Barkley said that the Lakers are taking the joy from Russell Westbrook and, and ruining his name. And also Westbrook said he injured his hamstring coming because he came off the bench. So let's talk about both of them. Check out the NBA Talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel now. Westbrook isn't accustomed to coming off the bench, and it's a different feel coming off the bench because when you start the game, you're coming right out of warm-ups. So you're not just sitting there. So it is it is an art till coming off the bench. That I will say, it is an art to coming off the bench. For sure. So with Russell Westbrook, it's something new. So he gotta find ways to keep himself loose if that's on the stationary bike. If that's stretching on the side, whatever. But then if he go off to the side away from the team and he's stretching and he warming up on a stationary bike, then he not being engaged. And now it's something that it ain't. Now, to what Barkley said, it ain't the Laker Nation that's doing this to, to Russell Westbrook. It's not. Smush Parker didn't get this, mu this much backlash. Sasa Vujovic didn't get this much backlash. He had four turnovers the other night. LeBron had fucking five. These are the LeBron sexuals, the LeBron super fanboys. They did the same shit to Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh, and they wouldn't have won the championship without either one of them. They did the same thing to Wade and Bosh. And what people don't understand when LeBron, look, the thing with Dwayne Wade is that Dwayne Wade took a step back to let LeBron do his thing. But then at the end of games and in important moments, LeBron shrinks and still shrinks to this day. Then they want Dwayne Wade to, to, to turn into D Wade when it's convenient for LeBron James. And then Chris Bosch sacrificed more than anybody. He was a prime 20 plus 10 plus point scorer in Toronto. He sacrificed, you know, to do the dirty work to rebound, to block shots, and do all the dirty work. If they originally would have kept got Carmelo Anthony like they wanted to, they would never won a championship. Carmelo don't defend. He don't do the dirty work. He don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? Chris Bosh was able to morph his whole game from a back-to-the-basket score, rebounder, you know what I'm saying, to he, he accommodated LeBron James, start stretching out. LeBron has hurt more careers than helped him when you talk about statistically. And when it comes to his fanboys in the blame game, blame Anthony Davis. Way before Westbrook got there, Anthony Davis didn't step up. And the only reason they won the bubble championship because they was the only team practicing. LeBron got a rest, AD got a rest, and they didn't get injured in the bubble. Then that shit don't count to me. That's not a real ring. I don't care what nobody said. They had a competitive advantage. You know? So, like I continue to say, it's the LeBron sexuals that's getting mad at Russell. And then... They anger boil over to the Laker, the real Laker fans, to say, no, and they blaming Russell Westbrook. No, I had this problem before Westbrook got here. Had y'all not had this problem, y'all wouldn't have went out there and got Russell Westbrook. If y'all was a championship caliber team, y'all would have made some tweaks to the team or something like that. Be mad at who brought Westbrook here. Who approved that shit? It wasn't Rob Palenka. Rob Palenka is a figurehead. It's LeBron James. What's so funny about LeBron James? Can't nobody cast blame on LeBron when it's his fault. And I watched that... Uh, Redeem, Redeem Team uh, documentary, that BS, he was on there lying out his head. Like, I like to be held accountable, and I'm at my best when I'm held accountable. Man, no, you don't. You fired David Black because he held you accountable for not playing defense. Tell me I'm lying. That's why, no, that's why you never got with a top coach because you didn't want to get held accountable. So cut the bullshit. It's LeBron fans who 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 who, who maximizing this. Blame Anthony Davis, dude. He the one who ain't held up his end of the bargain. He the one who got LeBron who ain't worked on his body. He the one that want to keep shooting threes and don't want to post up and be aggressive and do the dirty work and want to be a prima donna power forward. He the one that don't want to do what it takes to, to, to carry the team. You can't carry the team shooting no damn threes. Not, at, not when you seven foot. Name them. Dirk Nowitzki won the championship when he started posting up. Shaquille O'Neal was, was the was the was the center of the uh, Lakers universe when he started because he was posting up. Hakeem Olajuwon, you name me a stretch a stretch uh, a stretch five that led their team. Kevin Garnett posted up or four. Who led their team to the championship? It don't work that way, bro. When you a big fella, 
You play big. Dwight Howard took his team to the finals, posting up, and they still got the shots and the looks they was looking for. He, he too stupid to understand that, bruh. And if you post up, you will minimize your injuries too. Your percentages go up closer you are to the bucket, bro. Own the paint. Lock the paint down. Do the do a little bit of dirty work. Rebound. Block some. He don't want to be like that. What he did in the National Championship of Kentucky, that's what he got to be on a nightly basis. At least rebounding, doing the dirty work, and posting up. That way, LeBron ain't got to carry the ball up the, uh, up the floor. We can't go through AD and he's shooting at, he's sitting at the three-point line. How? How you going to go through AD he's sitting at the three-point line? How? Blame AD. Westbrook was brought here because AD wasn't good enough. Well, you know, Westbrook ain't that good, and he earballed. He, oh, LeBron ain't that good. They got blocked by Mario Hazania. We well, you know LeBron in year 20 and all this shit. Ah, okay, whatever. What about Anthony Davis? LeBron pulled the trigger on Russell Westbrook. Everybody knew the Westbrook, the Westbrook, uh, the Westbrook trade was a bad idea. Everybody knew that. But y'all was sitting here late, late, and they, oh, yeah, we got Westbrook championship, championship, championship. We just looking at y'all dumbasses. Championship, championship. It ain't take man. They victimized Russ. They, you know, they don't, you know, you know, blame AD. They don't really want to blame AD. Blame him. Can't really blame LeBron. He and your twin, but he blame he he to blame for putting this team together. He to blame for putting this team together. It's, it's the LeBron extremists. It's the, it's the LeBron extremists that's doing this to uh, Westbrook. And when and when Le and when West and, and I agree with Charles, they gotta trade him. When Westbrook leave, when he gone, dog, he gone. Well, then who they gonna blame? Then it's gonna be Anthony. It ain't never LeBron fought. Never. This nigga scored like 10 points in the in the finals game and got shut down by uh JJ Barrera, bro. And his fans turned a blind eye. And then what he tell people, go back to y'all miserable lives and shit. Man, get out of here. He on the side, he on the side of the he on the he on the court dancing and twerking and shit. That's why I ain't like that's why I turn I ain't like LeBron, bro. He be out there doing all that dancing, pop locking in Cleveland, right? But then when he show up short, he want to get an attitude and start blaming everybody else and don't take the blame. Oh, this one on me or, no, I mean, LeBron ain't got this. LeBron ain't got that. LeBron ain't got this. LeBron ain't got that. You know what I'm saying? And then his fans justified moving to Miami. That was a whole move. And they got mad because Kevin Durant followed suit from uh, to a generational talent. He'd be a damn fool not to do the same shit LeBron did. And then they got mad because he did it better. You know what I'm saying? They blame Wade. They blame Bosch. They blame people in Cleveland. You know, Cleveland. Then his cop out was, you know, the Cleveland kids look down on us, Akron niggas. Then why you come back? You know? Then it's Kyrie. Kyrie got tired of that shit when they won. It wasn't about Kyrie making that shot. Or oh, LeBron, man. LeBron did it, man. And then, you know, and then when Kyrie didn't want to be a part of that shit no more, man, we lose. It's Kyrie for it. Why do you think the, the Cavaliers keep paying Kevin Love for going through that shit with LeBron? His career was bubbling. Ran into LeBron in the shitter. You got to be a damn fool for think another Bruin one going to go through the same thing. UCLA Bruin, Kevin Love. UCLA Bruin, Westbrook. Westbrook need the ball to say LeBron need the ball to say. How hard was that thing? How, oh, that shit ain't going to work. LeBron, LeBron ain't tried to make it work. Take the ball out of his hand and do some other things. Man, come on. You brought him here, but you can't accommodate him. Crazy. I agree with Chuck, man, but the difference is it ain't just, it ain't Laker Nation. It's the LeBron sexuals. The most part. They hatred to put Westbrook poured over to the Earl City. That man then turned LeBron and turned his home city against that man. Crazy. 
But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance of notifications. We go live drop video. Financially want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, the whole nine. Appreciate the love support. Check out the NBA Top Players for more videos like this. Peace.